We didn't put soy sauce in the fried rice, so the rice and the taste of the grilled meat is still together. So we did not really ruin the taste of the meat that was actually in the rice. The shrimp is just perfect. The broccoli is not overcooked, it's still crunchy. all the leftovers that we had from yesterday. We've had um, New York steak and ribeye, so we were not able to finish it. Today we are going to just make sure it's not gonna go until the third day in the fridge, and we are going to cook fried rice with it, as well as the broccoli shrimp. So it's going to be for our dinner today. If you would like us to do a shout out for you, please don't forget to comment or send us a message through Facebook or Instagram. Swing by and say hi at any time. With the fried rice, of course, I don't have the shells anymore or the green um, onions. It's fine because I have the minced uh, garlic anyway. I cannot think of any best fried rice ever without garlic. I always cook my fried rice in a wok. That's always the best fried rice. The New York steak and the leftover ribeye. We also have a little bit of uh, brats here. We're also going to put that in our uh, fried rice corn. And I'm also just gonna go ahead and put that in the fried rice. As mentioned, we have the minced garlic and then the uh, diced um, carrot. Broccoli and shrimp. The broccoli here, some chopped um, carrots, and of course the minced garlic, ginger, but I am going to use the grater because I wanted to really have the ginger aroma into our broccoli and uh, shrimp. I'll just cut the meat, not really diced, but in small pieces. of it which is the corn as always we are going to um, cook our fried rice with high heat in a wok and at the same time also our broccoli and shrimp we are going to make our meal today probably in just 20 to 25 minutes less than 30 minutes it's just gonna be really really quick we'll just put everything together a little bit of olive oil. I'll start with the garlic, the diced carrots. We're doing everything really, really quick because this is in high heat in a wok. I forgot, let's also put um, drippies. I can smell the aroma of garlic as it cooks. And then now we're going to add corn. We're now going to add the rice. I would typically add soy sauce to fried rice. But since we are putting the leftover ribeye steak and New York steak, so it's not going to ruin the taste of the, the steaks that was grilled with the rice. And then we'll season it with salt and pepper. Egg is optional, so I'll just put probably two eggs We'll just put it for 15 seconds. We'll put the meat, egg. For 
fried rice is done, I would usually garnish it with green onions and um, roasted garlic. I usually have the ready-made roasted garlic, but now since I'm out, this will do it since I did the fresh garlic anyway. Now we're going to do the broccoli shrimp. I'm just making my wok really, really hot. This is how you maintain your wok. You have to make it really, really hot, even if you're not using it, and then put oil. Our fresh garlic, minced broccoli, and just steam it. The carrots. For our sauce, it's going to be oyster sauce. The oyster sauce in the water, a little bit of cornstarch. And then we'll grate the ginger. The broccoli's almost done. Um, it's gonna be a little bit crunchy. Add the shrimp. The shrimp will be done in just a couple of seconds. While shrimp is cooking, we'll go ahead and add the sauce. It's now done. We have a thicker sauce and the broccoli is not to overcook. Grilled meat, fried rice, broccoli, and shrimp. We didn't put soy sauce in the fried rice, so the rice and the taste of the grilled meat is still together. So we did not really ruin the taste of the meat that was actually in the rice. The shrimp is just perfect. The broccoli is not overcooked, it's still crunchy. 